um briefly i'll be speaking on worship and chants worship and chants i want you to understand that um chants can be worship chant can be a worship but not all chants are worship now when god brought chants to the body of christ because originally we were not we were not exposed to chants it was not really something that is common you are very observant you discover that it came to the body of christ not up to 20 years ago now the reason god brought chant was because there was a deficiency now men found it hard to pray and because men found it hard to pray, God brought in that dimension so that the spirit of man will be steered to pray. Are you getting it? So, I, but the problem we have now is that people are not balancing things. They are going to the extreme. You see, just like I said earlier, chants can be worshipped. But not all chant is a worship. That means it is possible for you to be chanting and yet you are not worshipping God. So, if you are a singer, I advise that you do more of worship than just chanting. Now, the reason is this. You see, when you chant, you are moving the hand of God. But when you worship, you are moving the whole of God. Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. There's a time I was in a program while I was about to minister. They don't give me a song. We sang. But that song is a chant. It's not a worship song. It's just a chant to steer people to pray. So I was singing something like, Okay, a mimi mo we me now that kind of song is not a worship song it's a chant the, the, the only thing that song will do to your spirit is to steer you to pray that song is not a worship song it's a chant the reason I'm saying this is as a child of God we need to know the place of all these things the two are good, but we must not bend to one side. There are many people that God gave to them the ministry of worship, but now they are switching from worshiping to chanting. Most of the young ones are no longer worshiping God. They are just trying to steer people to pray. Steering people to pray is good, but we must understand that that should not replace the place of worshiping God. Worshiping God such as you are the most high you are the most high god that one is not just a chant that one is a worship song can you see that glory be to god in the highest amen that one is worship so as children of god we must understand when to do chant as in when to steer people to pray and when to just worship the beauty of god's holiness I will advise that you do more of worship than chanting. Are you there? Because when you steer people to pray, most of the time what they do is to ask. So when you most most things people do when they are steered to pray is to ask. Whether you ask in the will of God or you ask out of the will of God, you are still asking. But when you when you worship, you are not asking. You are just blessing God. When you worship, you are not asking. You are admiring, you know, you are celebrating the authenticity of God. When you worship, you are not asking. You are adoring, you are honoring the majesty of God. When you worship, you are not asking. You are putting God in His place. Can you see the two are not the same? So I advise us that we do more of worship 
we must know the place of these two things. The issue we have is that we used to take things to the extreme. So when we saw chant, everybody just drifted to it and all we are doing is trying to steer people to pray. Thank God for those that God is using to steer people to pray. Of course, I have chants on my phone. Of course, I also sing chants. Of course, I compose chants and it helps people to pray. But I understand the place of chanting. So, we must not allow that to overrule prayer. There are people that even when they are called to come and worship God, all they will be doing is chanting. They will just be steering people to pray. No, 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 no. Do less of chants. Do less of just steering people to pray. Do more of worshipping God. You must know the place of this too. Angels in heaven are not chanting to God. They are worshipping God. The 24 elders are not chanting to God. They are worshipping God. So if the 24 elders are in heaven worshipping God, then you will know that worship carries more weight than just steering people to pray. Because, like I said earlier, in, in worship, you are not asking. You are thinking. There's a difference between asking and thinking. It's not the same. In worship, you, you are just putting God in His place. I pray the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Don't go to the extreme. If you have been called into the ministry of songs, that's very powerful. But you must know when to steer people to pray and when to take people to the presence of God and help them to lay down their crowns and bow before the Lord. There's a place for steering people to pray and there's a place for worshipping, I mean adoring God. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. So let's understand this so that we will not go to the extreme. So that we will not we will not be living a life that is not balanced. And if you are listening to me, and uh, this thing I'm saying is actually describing you. Maybe you are that type that you have stopped worshipping God. Now you are just doing, you know, just trying to steer people to pray. You need to balance it. Uh, now, the balance here is not to do 50-50. No. The balance is not 50-50. The balance is to do more of worship than chant. Are you there? Because when you pray, you know, when you chant, you are sending people to pray. And when they are praying, most of the time, what they do is to ask. Now, how sure are you that what you are asking from a father you have not acknowledged will be given to you? How sure are you? You are asking from a father you have not glorified. You are asking from a father you have not honored. How sure are you that you will get that thing you are asking for? This is the place of worship. This is the place of worship. It's not just worship does not move. It's not, it's not just moving the hand of God. It moves the whole of God. It brings you to the presence of God. It brings you to the point where you, you can bow before Him. You can lay down your crown before Him. It brings God into you. That's worship now. And it brings you into God. That's worship. This is the wisdom of God. Don't sell it. 